Paul Mitchell last updated 1453, September 25, 2017 Ruben Lungwai started Bethany's restaurant in 2005. A Palmerston North couple are hoping to buy back the restaurant they named in memory of their daughter. Ruben and Lynn Lungwai built Bethany's, attached to the Palmerston North City Council building, into a welcoming and respected restaurant in the past eight years. The couple were dismayed when the restaurant was put up for sale in a voluntary liquidation in July, after the business racked up $700,000 in debt to their bank and the Inland Revenue Department. Bethany's restaurant in the square, Palmerston North. But they still hope to outbid potential buyers and get back control of the restaurant, which was named after the couple's daughter Bethany, who died two days before her 12th birthday in 2005 after an eight-month battle with bone cancer. Read more Palmerston North Restaurant More than $700,000 in debt Well-respected Palmerston North Restaurant Bethany's faces financial woe down change a thing The key to success at long-standing restaurants Two barbecue-inspired restaurants to fire up in Palmerston North Ruben Lungwai said the couple were gathering funds and looking to get some loans from family to put their own bid in before the liquidator made its final decision in October. Liquidation Management Limited has kept Bethany's open for the three months since taking over and retained most of the restaurant's 20 staff. Lungwai has also stayed on as head chef. Potential buyers have asked if he'd be willing to remain on board. He wasn't sure what he'd do if another buyer outbid them, he could stay on in the kitchen, try starting over or leave the hospitality industry. The thing for us is you have to stay positive. No matter what happens, life goes on. You can't just sit down and say that's it. He said things had been tough since word of the liquidation got out but their regulars, including council staff coming in for lunch, had kept coming and had been supportive. Liquidator Imran Kamal said Bethany's had proven it was still a viable business, taking in $20,000 a week in revenue on average since the liquidation process started in July. Bethany's was publicly listed for sale at the end of last week. Camel said several possible buyers had expressed interest in the restaurant. I've got enough offers on the table, but I thought it best to look at all the options before making a decision. Stuff.